Hey guys, welcome back to the channel, I'm Ben and today I will tell you how to play Half-Life Alex on Quest 2. Like, share, subscribe and ring the bell to stay up to date, come find me on Advanced VR Fair Facebook page and use the link in the description to buy games at low prices on Instant Gaming website. Ok, let's go. What do you need to play Half-Life Alex on your Quest 2? An Oculus Quest 2 and a copy of Half-Life Alex will be a great start. And if you already have, you are already at halfway to succeed. Obviously, you need a PC powerful enough to run Alex smoothly. You also need Virtual Desktop and Side Quest. And when it's the time, follow the link in the description, download and install them. Last but not last, you need a Wi-Fi router. I recommend to use at least a 5 GHz router for the best result. Step 1. Buy and install Virtual Desktop standalone version on your Quest 2. You can buy the right version using the link in the description, otherwise you can buy directly from Oculus Library directly using your Quest 2. If you use the link in the description to purchase, you will find Virtual Desktop in your Quest 2 library, then download and install. Step 2. After you buy and install Virtual Desk on your Quest 2, use your PC and go to vrdesktop.net. Download and install the streamer app, run the app and you will see this panel where you simply have to insert your Oculus name here. Click save and after a few seconds your PC will be connected and it will be recognized the specifics as graphic card, latency and operating system. It's not time to run Steam yet. Now, where again your Quest 2, make sure it's connected to the same Wi-Fi network where your PC is and open Virtual Desktop. Access with your Oculus name and it should connect. Again, it's not time to run SteamVR yet, you need to patch it and to do it, you need SideQuest. Step 3. Use again your PC, download and install SideQuest, register and login with your Oculus or Facebook account and connect your Quest 2 to PC via cable. Before to proceed though, I recommend to activate developer mode and install ADB driver, so follow the video that appear in the link up here or click on the links in the description to check the videos I made for you on how to activate developer mode, download and install ADB driver. Then come back here on this video and proceed. So uh, what I was saying, oh yes, Quest 2 connected via cable and side quest should have this point green. If it's so, use the search function and search for virtual desktop. You will find the patch required to run Steam VR games. To install the patch, you simply have to click on this button and everything is done automatically. Step 4. If Steam is already open, just close it and restart. Wear the headset, run Virtual Desktop and then run games from Virtual Desktop interface. It works like the Oculus library, so open Virtual Desktop first, then open SteamVR, then run the game and it's done. You see a bit of lag and stuttering here because of the recording, but I can assure you that the game was running smoothly inside the headset. Smooth gaming do not depend only from your PC specifics, but also from your router. To play via virtual desktop, you don't need a good connection, but you need a fast router. So, if you have a $10 router purchased from the Chinese store in front of your home, well, this will surely won't make you enjoy a good gaming experience, even if it's a 5 GHz router. Remember that there are cheap 5 GHz router and real 5 GHz router. For a good gaming experience, your router should be able to transfer at least 1000 or 1002 MB per second. Most important, do not expect to play with the same graphics quality as a cable connection because Wi-Fi gaming steals a lot from graphics, so enjoy wireless gaming but accept the compromise in graphics. Personally, I prefer being on cable and have the best graphics and performance rather than to play PC games wireless without the full quality, because yes, the difference is noticeable and that's why I asked a refund for virtual desktop and keep using Rift S or link cable on Quest 2 to play PC VR games. But again, that's just personal. Well, that's all from Ben. Like, share, subscribe and ring the bell. 
Thanks for watching. See you to the next one and see ya in VR. Ciao ragazzi.